Okay, I better take this video while I still have light. I'm running out of light here. It is 10 after 9. Uh, I'm going to put up long wire. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I met a new ham friend that lives down there in Timberlane. Uh, and he has an under Eve uh, antenna wire. And that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm going to duplicate what he has here so I can help him tune it and learn about it. So basically what I have is a roll of magnet wire. It's getting light, so light is low. So I'm going to get this video done. Roll of... Uh, uh, probably 18 gauge magnet wire and I have these little cable clips they go all the way up here and it's hanging this wire all the way up the peak of the side of the house I have it going down underneath the eave of the house over here this is my yard waste and my side door by the laundry room uh, and the gate goes all the way underneath there this is just the, uh, the gravel pad RV pad goes underneath here just like John described, sort of. But the cool thing with this one, I should have just tagged into the gutter for this section, <clears throat> which was pretty stupid because that's what I ended up doing up front. So that's kind of the back, all the way there. There's gonna be quite a bit of land. So it hits the peak or the edge of the garage here. And I have these, these hooks that were up here for the Christmas lights. And so I, I got this uh, pole. It's a pole, it's a piece of PVC thin wall with a groove cut in there. And I just carefully lifted that, pushed that wire up on all those hooks. And it goes all the way up over here. And back down over here. And I was going to terminate it on this last hook here. Uh, there's a hook you can't see, but there is a hook up there. It fell off and I said, well, screw that. I had to go back on the ladder anyhow. So I drilled a hole in the gutter. You can't see it. Uh, let me drop the phone, zoom in. Uh, drop, uh, drilled a hole in the corner of the gutter, put a stainless steel screw in. And uh, that wire, the enamel is already stripped, so I have it around there and actually uh, connected it to the whole gutter. So the gutter is going to be loaded up. It looks like my downspouts aren't uh, into the ground, so I don't know what the hell they're going to do to the RF. Maybe act as radials, who knows. Uh, over here, I don't think it's connected. Nope. Well, maybe it's touching the ground there. Yeah, that could be an issue. Maybe I should pull that piece off. Uh, that could be an issue. So anyway, that gutter tagged into there so I have all this length all the way up here and I'm going to connect to start with a 19 to 1 ballon sort of like what John was using and I'm going to do some impedance test on different bands it was all the way here oh boy yeah the advantage of this whole thing is uh, I do have an extra coax uh, that come through my conduit because when I first started uh, HF ham radio here it was in October and I had my automatic tuner right at the base of that tree. And so therefore the coax actually went over here and it comes up underneath, it comes out of my weather head. There's the conduit weather head, you can't see. It's too dark, but there's my uh, 160 and 80 meter feed point. So I have one coax there. And I have this other coax that comes out of here. It goes all the way back to the ham shack underneath the ground there in the conduit. This is 9913, pretty brand new stuff I put in October. And I have this length that used to go up to the tuners on that tree. So if you look where that is, that's just across this little gravel pad, or gravel pad, this little gravel area right at the end of this thing. So I'm gonna bring that wire, I'm running out of light and I'm almost done, right there. I'm gonna bring it down over here, tag it down, probably loop it loosely under these rafters, and very carefully come over to this tree so it'll close my clothesline myself when I walk past here, tie it off there with some string come right down there and that's going to be my feed point i'll bring out my nine to one ballon or on un -un, not a balance on -un, and hook it there and there's enough room i'll go drape out some radials i can do that in the dark got a whole shed full of radials and uh, we'll see how it works see ya